Hello everyone, my name is Andre. I'm the founder and the CEO of AcTech. Today is a big day because today we are finally going to launch our wheelbases. It has been a crazy couple of years and more or less exactly two years ago I had the first contact with Granite Devices about potentially acquiring some of their IP because Acetec wanted to get into the wheelbase market. Uh, since then, we have come out with several sets of pedals. We have uh, developed, uh, as you can see in front of me, three different wheelbases. And uh, that's what I'm going to talk about uh, today. Before doing that, I would like to say thank you to uh, a couple of people. First of all, uh, my team. It has been crazy, we will get back to that a little bit, to actually manage to pull this off I would say in one year, because the first year we spent on pedals, and then we've had this year to, to focus on wheelbases. And then, of course, I would like to say thank you to all the supportive users who bought our pedals. As a brand new brand, brand new company to the sim sports world, so thanks for putting your trust in us. And uh, before we go to pricing or everything else, I would just like to say that, yes, of course, there will be a quite nice financial bonus to the customer who actually believed in us and purchased our pedals and now want to purchase our wheel and wheel bases. So with that out of the way, we have three bases here. Some of you have seen some of it from previews and from trade shows. So first we have the Forte wheel base here. It's 18 Newton meters, so quite a strong uh, wheel base. Here we have the Invicta wheel base. That's 27 Newton meters. So that's basically from IndyCar and below. Uh, this this uh, guy here can handle uh, pretty much everything. And then here we have the La Prima wheelbase. That's our entry level. That's 12 Newton meter. So for an entry level wheelbase, I would say it's still uh, quite strong. When we do the segmentation, we try not to, let's say, uh, take out quality, uh, take out important stuff. So. What you'll see on all these wheelbases is they share similar specs. So it means no matter which product in our portfolio uh, you pick, you actually get the same resolution. You get the same high quality electronics. As you can also see here on the Forte, we have four LED strips, same as with our pedals. On the Invicta, we have six LED strips. And then uh, on the La Prima, we have zero LED strips. So that's some of the features we've taken away to hit a much lower price point, but the quality in the driving, the experience is exactly the same. We did a partnership with Miege, who is very well known in the sim sports uh, area, as you already know. Um, and then we started to design the motor uh, from our liking and from what we wanted. If I take the core of, uh, of the motor here, you can see everything is, uh, is metal, all vital parts are metal. We have a high quality slip ring, and when I say high quality, I mean it. We have tested it for more than 200 million activations, and still without a loss in fidelity in, in terms of the USB signal. Here we have the 22-bit encoder, and then we have our PCB. So everything on these wheelbases in terms of quality is exactly the same. The difference is the strength and then a little bit on the features. So the Invicta and the Forte, they both have five USB ports uh, in the back. So you can uh, connect your uh, Invicta or Forte pedals. Uh, you can connect uh, future Acetec or third party uh, peripherals, whereas on the La Prima, uh, there's only a connection to the PC. You can put in a USB hub here and then have the same uh, functionality. But in, in terms of uh, shipping from our side, uh, it's been de-featured a little bit um, to hit the price point you would like to hit. So another unique feature about our uh, La Prima series and, and also the Forte to some extent is that, that we, uh, we make these, um, let's say, uh, stage kits where you can actually upgrade your wheelbase. You buy a new PCB, you buy a new power supply, and you buy the LED strips, and then boom, you have a Forte wheelbase. Speaking of upgrades, I know a lot of you are interested in console uh, compatibility. 
And uh, we are not at a stage now where I can say that these are console compatible because either we have it the official way or we don't have it. What you do at home is, is fine with us, of course, but we cannot go out and say we support consoles when it's a hack uh, at the end of the day. But we are actively working on it. I cannot say when we are, when we are done because in brutal honesty, that's also up to, uh, to Sony and to Microsoft. So, so that's the way, the way we look at that. If you look at the Forte and the Invicta, you have both a power on button and you have a torque off button. Whereas uh, on the La Prima, you only have the power button. Should you wish to upgrade later with the torque off, you can do that. But we believe with 12 Newton meter, torque off is not really an uh, essential feature. These, uh, these buttons, you can either mount them directly on your rig or you can mount them on some of uh, on some of our mounts as well. If you look at any of these uh, motors here, there are T-slots built in to the motor itself. So when you get it from us, there will be T-slot nuts already pre-mounted. So if you have a rig like that, uh, or you want to drill in your table, you can do it. However, we have a variety of mounts. So let me try to go uh, through them. What we have here is uh, what we refer to as a table mount. Of course, you can mount it on a rig as well, but as you can see here, it can mount on a table. This is a, a really, uh, let's say, simple and cost-effective way of uh, mounting everything. We also have side mounts. If you have a rig where you have the profiles coming from the side, we have made them like this. So the idea is that you screw from your rig into this. There's M8 threads here, or the other way around. And then you attach the motor to these brackets, and then the motor will still be able to slide back and forth in the side mount. And if you use this bracket, you can take it off or you can use it. But if you use this bracket, you actually also have tilt in the mount. Then we have uh, what we call a bottom mount that can be mounted on your table or it can be mounted on the table mount if you want that as well. But pretty simple again, you mount it under the, under the motor. The motor can slide back and forth. And if you use these uh, inner brackets, you can take them off or you can use them. If you use the inner ones, you also have tilt. So there's pretty much tilt function in all of them. I have saved, I think for most of you, uh, the best to the last and that is uh, our front mount. To mount this, you simply take off the quick connector, you take off the front piece, you put on the mount, put in four bolts, put on the cover again, uh, slide this in, and then you have it. And it's very elegant where you can see the ribs and everything from the motor goes to the, goes to the front face here. And uh, you're not required to, but it's actually possible to take the mounts from the button boxes off, so you don't need the mount. And then you mount your buttons directly uh, into the face of the front mount. All in all, we have four or five different mounting, option, uh, mounting options, and I think I can't really imagine a scenario where you would not be able to, uh, to mount these. And when we, when we ship it from our factory, you get it as the base motor, where you can mount it from the bottom, slide it back and forth, and if you want anything else, you can pick and choose between all these uh, different mounting options. Let's talk about uh, the quick release a little bit. When we built these and when we designed them, it was uh, a monumental thing for me not to have the wires. We don't want to be depending on wires flapping around. We don't want to uh, be depending on a Bluetooth uh, signal that can potentially drop off. And we also realized that being locked into someone's ecosystem can be a little bit annoying. So the way we have tried to solve this with our quick release is actually to open it up to other steering wheel uh, manufacturers. Let me just show you for, uh, for a second how it works. You slide on the wheel, then it's mounted, and then you take it off again. So it's very easy. You have the USB connection, you have the power connection, you have everything uh, through this simple no-play uh, connector. So if we start with our flagship model, the Invicta, uh, that wheelbase is 1499.99 euros or dollars. 
27 newton meter, super high resolution, super low latency, really a, a great wheelbase. If you go one step down and say, I think 18 newton meter is sufficient for me, this is a $999.99 wheelbase. That is really a great value for a wheelbase of this caliber. If we move to the left and say, okay, what about the 12 newton meter La Prima? That will actually only be offered as a bundle directly from Acetec. And that bundle will consist of a La Prima steering wheel that we will cover in another video. It will consist of La, La Prima pedals that we'll also cover in another video. But the great thing is all these three things together, $1,349.99 or Euro for a top-notch, high-resolution, high-strength quality wheelbase. What we will be offering is any customer that bought a set of Asetec SimSports pedals prior to the shipping date of these would get a $200 gift card to our web shop. And that is independent of whether you order your wheelbases or, and wheels with a, a reseller or if you do it in our web shop directly. If you buy a wheelbase and a wheel and you have the pedals already that you will have to prove with the serial number, you'll get a $200 gift card to our web shop. If you want the pedals now and you buy them now, you will also get it. From the day we start shipping, the offer is off. So we are starting pre-orders uh, this week of the bases and our wheels, La Prima bundle. And as always, when we do pre-orders, we don't charge your credit card until we actually ship the goods. So that's the deal. We open for pre-order. You can place your pre-order and we will do our very best to give it to you uh, before the end of the year.